Washington State Ferry's long-range plans have identified several terminal replacement projects that are critical to the safe, reliable, and efficient service now and into the future. Makotio Ferry Terminal recently opened. Coleman Dock in Seattle is near completion, and up next is Fauntleroy Ferry Terminal. The Fauntleroy Ferry Terminal was built in the 1950s and still sits today alongside residential homes and Lincoln Park. Apart from ferry vessels, orca whales and salmon call the waters home. Fauntleroy Creek runs along the south side of the terminal and provides a nurturing habitat for coho salmon. People access the ferry terminal from Fauntleroy Way, a city street, before boarding and heading to one of two destinations. Fauntleroy Ferry Terminal is a critical transportation hub for the people and the local economy. Connecting West Seattle, Vashon Island, the Kitsap Peninsula, and beyond. The three ferry terminals, Fauntleroy, Vashon Island, and South Forest, earn the name of the triangle due to the shape of the sailings that serve over 3 million people a year. There are three major challenges with this facility that we're trying to address. One is the structural and seismic integrity of the facility. It was built in the 1950s and then portions of it uh, again in the 80s. Uh, it's got old timber, creosote, piling that reached the end of their useful life. The second challenge for us is the operational issue. This is a small terminal that serves a vessel class of 124 cars, but the dock itself only holds 80 cars. In addition to the multimodal features with pedestrians and bicyclists, uh, pick up and drop off. And finally, the terminal is one of our lowest elevationally and in the whole system. And so climate change is also something that we're looking closely at with this facility. So all of those issues we're trying to address with this replacement project. We are in the planning phase and convened three community groups to help shape the project with representatives from the communities served by the Triangle Route. In mid-2023, we'll begin an environmental review process required by the National Environmental Policy Act and then followed by design and construction. 